Hey, so I wanted to make a video uh, showing the erosion that's taking place on Hunting Island um, in Beaufort, South Carolina. I know, uh, you know, a lot of people are, are relatively aware that Hunting Island has seen a, a lot of erosion over the years, um, and and a lot of people, in fact, go and visit it specifically for that reason because it's a state park, and there's really not much that's done to mitigate the erosion on the island. Uh, they they tend to let just let it happen naturally unlike a, a private developed island where uh, you know they, they do various things to try to uh, slow the erosion or um, or you know even dredging sand back up onto the beach and, and so forth but um, anyways here's here's the the island um, which like I said the entire thing is a state park uh, there's highway 21 that you drive out to get out to the beach and then this is the uh, you know the roads down and into the to the beach and uh, right now what you're looking at uh, is, according to the, the history image toolbar up here, uh, these photos were last updated in November of 2012. So, so this is relatively new, um, uh, new images you're looking at. So I'll zoom in here to the lighthouse, which you can see uh, is a pretty good point of reference uh, right near the road that you drive in. And... Uh, this is basically the, the north part of the beach, north part of the island. And what I'll do is I'll come up here to the to this uh, history toolbar, and I'm going to slide it back, going back all the way back to 1994. Now there are a lot of images every step along the way, with uh, you know throughout the years whenever they've updated the satellite imaging. But um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to slide all the way back so you can you can get the most effect of the erosion that's taking place. So uh, Again, here's the lighthouse right there, and watch, 1994, 2012, 1994, 2012. That's pretty significant um, amount of erosion, for sure. We'll come on down to the south side of the island. We'll do the same thing. Right now you're looking at 2012, and that's 1994. 2012, 1994. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty significant. And I don't know if you noticed, I'm going to zoom in here. You see the road? This is the road that you drive out to the south end of the beach. And... Watch right, watch right about here where uh, where the mouse is. Watch that road. 2012, 1994. You see what's happening? Whoop, there we go. 2012. You see that right there? There's the road. That's where it used to be, and that's where it's long since been cut off. It is no more. That's pretty incredible. In fact, let's come down here. <clears throat> See this lovely waterfront cabin? Who wouldn't want that, right? Whoops. See that again? It's no longer waterfront. It's water property. So, uh, anyways, pretty, uh, pretty remarkable amount of erosion. Um, that's taken place, you know, just in a relatively short period of time. Um, I mean, growing up, I know going out to the beach, it was quite a haul. You'd park your car, and you'd really have to to, to hike it to get to the beach. Um, and now, uh, I know when you go, the parking lot's starting to fall back into the uh, into the ocean again, which you know, which it had on previous occasions. In fact, let's go ahead and go back to 2012, where this lighthouse is uh, most most people know, uh, some people know, that this isn't a where it's always sat. Uh, in fact, the lighthouse, once upon a time, uh, it was in uh, 1889, it had to be moved one and one quarter mile inland uh, because of erosion. Now, to give you an idea of what that is, I'll get um, the ruler tool here, and put a point on where the lighthouse currently is, we're going to go out 
one and one quarter mile off the coast. All right, there we go. And that's uh, that's about it. That's about one and one quarter mile out, uh, which would be approximately somewhere you know out here in this vicinity, where that lighthouse once sat in 1889 before it was moved, one and one quarter mile inland. So once was, what, what, what was once that far inland is uh, is now basically, you know, it's knocking on the front door of the lighthouse once again. And, you know, there's only so, so much further back they can move it. They don't even have, they don't even have hardly, gosh, what is that, maybe, maybe a half a mile worth of island left to even move it back. So, um, it's really interesting to consider what's going to happen to that island and what's going to happen uh, especially because Fripp Island is uh, a private island here and as far as getting out to, to, to Fripp um, you know one day might even be difficult because if this island continues to erode eventually you know what you know this the, the fortunately Highway 21 is on the far back side of the of Hunting Island so you know that that'll be some time That'll be another 50, 7,500 years, potentially, maybe. It depends. You know, a hurricane can change a lot of things in a very short period of time. But speaking of Fripp, let's, let's go down to this area real quick. And uh, let's do the same thing. Let's go from 2012 back to 1994. You notice that? Look at that. Look at all that amount of beach and land that has grown. Now, granted, there's a you know a bit of a the sandbar here has changed shape and and moved, but it's definitely there's definitely some some amount of land that has been added um, because of the vegetation. You know, there's really good really good amount of uh, vegetation growing there so it's not just beach sand anymore um, I mean it's still pretty sandy soil nonetheless but it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely more than what what wasn't there um, but moving up and down the coast you can do this which is really it's really interesting to do with these uh, historical images um, some places go back even farther that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good amount there off of uh, Pritchard's Island. All right. So, anyways, so that's all. Just wanted to show you guys um, some of the uh, some of the erosion around Hunting Island in the Buford area. Thanks.